welcome back to a late show. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. John, what an amazing game. Oh, I'm, man, it's historic. It's incredible. What a game. I'm still on a high. <laughs> I'm still on a high from that. Did you, you know that one play? That, that well, one, oh. that game changer. Uh-huh, of course. That, the, the this one, we got instant replay right here of that. There you go. Wow. Look at the footwork. Look at the explosive Look at that speed. Motion. Look at that, that, that circular motion. Un, un, <laughs> you don't see that. That's You only get that in the big show. Is that, wow. Did everybody call it the big show? No one calls it the big show. John, we do now. We do now. That's yeah, called that's great. called that's called uh, grab your partners. I think that's called dosi do. Yeah. That's the dosi do. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, in the old playbook. Right. John, you got any you got any football music? You got anything that people might oh, want to yeah. hear? Oh, I was gonna play that theme, but we gotta clear that one. Ha! John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Yeah, yeah. Of course, folks, tonight wasn't just about watching football, drinking beer, and eating chips. It was also about watching commercials that sell us beer and chips. Now, I love our advertisers. It says so on my contract. But these big companies aren't the ones who need our support the most right now. It's small businesses out there that have been hurt the most in this pandemic. But... Of course, a small business could never afford the millions of dollars it would cost to produce and run an ad on CBS tonight, which is why we here at A Late Show have decided to pick one and just give it to them. Tonight, an actual small business that's been struggling during the pandemic will get their very own, very real, high-octane Super Sunday ad. Jim? There's a special breed that hungers for adventure, an escape into the unknown. When you're ready for that next chapter, there's only one place to go. Foggy Pine Books in Boone, North Carolina! Come on down to Foggy Pine Books on King Street in Boone, North Carolina, where every book is an adventure waiting to happen. They've got adventures that take you to space, adventures that take you back in time, and adventures that take only 15 minutes to make a chutney grilled cheese. And for those ready to push the envelope to the limit, Foggy Pie now offers a drive through window so you can pretend you're buying fast food. Hmm, that's a good book. Don't live in Boone, North Carolina? Well, Foggy Pine Books has a second location called the Internet, which means wherever you are, you're just a click away from the pine. Just listen to this satisfied customer. Foggy Pine Books has the best selection in all of Boone. They have books on all of my interests, such as World War II, uh, and also books about the events from 1939 to 1945. Thank you, Foggy Pine. Foggy Pine Books in Boone, North Carolina. Do you have skydiving for dummies? Foggy Pine Books on King Street and Boone. Between the Baptist Church and the Boone Saloon. Foggy Pine, Foggy Pine, Foggy Pine. Your adventure awaits. Big thanks to Sam Elliott and Tom Hanks for helping us out. Now go buy books from Foggy Pine Books. Use coupon code. There is no coupon code for an extra 0% off your purchase. Tell them Steven sent you. We'll be right back with Robert Downey Jr. A Late Show presents proposed NFL rule changes from the players in the Super Bowl. Instead of shoulder pads under our jerseys, we should have water balloons. That would make for some awesome instant replays. Can we start calling those guys something else other than tight ends? I feel like you're body shaming here. You know, kiss cams? What are those? But for referees. This has been A Late Show Presents Proposed NFL Rule Changes from the Players in the Super Bowl.